Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to send a large folder in an email using Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I have a folder full of family photos that I want to send to friends by email. If I go into my Gmail account, I'll quickly open a blank email and you'll see that when I try to attach that folder to the email, Gmail will only allow me to open the folder to attach the individual images inside it, but annoyingly, I can't attach the folder itself. There's still a way to send this folder in Gmail, however. Let me show you how to do that now. To send a folder in Gmail, you need to firstly convert that folder into a special type of file called a zip file. This is a very widely used file format that reduces down the overall size of a file or group of files in a folder so that it can be easily shared by email. The process for converting a folder into a zip file is slightly different if you're using a Mac or a Windows PC, but I'll show you both ways in this guide. Let's start with how it works on an Apple Mac. If I return to my family photos folder, to convert that to a zip file, I need to firstly right click on it, and you'll see a number of options are shown, but the one I'm interested in is compress family photos. I'll choose that now. You'll see that a copy of the folder in a zip file format is then created. Turning to a Windows PC, if I right click on my family photos folder, a number of options are shown. I'll move down to the option that says Send To, and you'll see that as I move my mouse over that, that presents some additional options. But the one I'm interested in is Compressed Zipped Folder. I'll click on that, and you can see that the zip file is created immediately. You can also take the opportunity to rename the file if you wish. This won't change the name of the original folder that is stored within the file. So now that we've converted the folder to a zip file, I'll return to my Gmail inbox. I'll open a new email window and I'll add the email address of the person I want to send it to, as well as a title for the email. If I now choose to attach a file, you'll see I can now select the zip file. And if I click on the open button, this is added to the email in the usual way. If I now send that email, I'll move to the email account of the person who the zip file was sent to. And you'll see that the email is received in that Gmail user's inbox. To open that zip file, I'll double click on it and the zip file is downloaded. And if I now double click on that downloaded zip file, you'll see that the family photos folder is shown and can now be clicked into and managed in the usual way. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.